But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Let me tell you about my great God. Hey guys, Pastor Tim here. Hope you're ready to start your day off in God's Word. We are on 1 Samuel uh, chapter 10. Uh, if you haven't read it yet, go ahead, read it through a couple times, jotting things that stick out to you. Uh, today's kind of an interesting chapter. We're getting back into some skirmishes, uh, but the things that happen in this chapter, at least in my opinion when I read it, did not necessarily need to happen. Obviously, uh, some people responded in ways they shouldn't have, but uh, no communication really happens, and a, a lot of uh, people are lost because of it. Uh, but in its own way, it's kind of an amusing chapter as well, especially with some terminology that's used. Uh, so when you read it, you find out it starts off talking about the uh, king of Amnon, or not Am Ammon, the king of Ammon who died, and now his son uh, Hunan is now taking over as king. Now David, upon hearing this, wants to send his condolences. So he's going to send some servants because of previous kindness that the, king, the former king showed to him in the past, most likely when he was on the run from Saul. So he's like, all right, I want to show him some kindness. So he sent some servants there to show his condolences. Uh, but Hunan, his advisors, the new king, the son of the now dead king, his advisors, uh, you know, they warn him to say, you know what? Thinkest thou that maybe this is a trick by David? Maybe he's trying to spy out the land. Maybe he's just pretending uh, to send his condolences, but he's trying to see uh, what our weaknesses are. And uh, Hunan, he listens to this. He doesn't He doesn't take David at his, at his word and... Uh, so he decides to embarrass or humiliate uh, David's servants instead. He, he uh, shaves off half their beards, which uh, I guess back then was a very um, embarrassing, humiliating thing. And he, uh, and he tears apart their clothes and such as well and just sends them back in a very humiliated fashion back into Israel. In fact, they, they don't even feel like going all the way to Israel. They stop in Jericho and, and word is sent to David. And upon hearing it, he's like, all right, you guys can stay there until your beards grow back. Uh, which personally, if it was me, it would take about a year or so for the, the beard to grow back. And um, and that is kind of, for David, it's kind of left there. But then the chapter picks up once again back with Hunan in, in Ammon. And it said when the Ammonites realized that they stank before David. I thought that was a very peculiar term, that when they realized they stank before David. Uh, and it kind of, it kind of, it kind of reminds me of a, a kid who has a guilty conscience. You know, they did something they knew that their parents didn't approve of. And somehow they knew, even though they haven't said anything, even though they haven't um, owned up to it, they knew that their parents knew that they did something wrong. And there's just kind of this uneasy air about things, all right? Like your parents are waiting for you to just uh, confess and own up to it. Like they're giving you the opportunity to own up to it yourself. Uh, but the whole time they don't know what to say. And in that period of time before they either confess or they have to be confronted, that's the stink period so to speak. All right. They know they did something wrong. They know their parents don't approve of it. And they realize they now stink before their parents. And um, what we see here is that the Ammonites did not respond the correct way. When they realized they stank, they did not clean it up, which would be to go and apologize to David. They decided to double down on the stank. All right. And that's the term I'm going to use here. They're going to double down on the stank. All right. And they hire some Assyrians to come and prepare them to help battle against David. And it's never indicated in this passage that David wanted to retaliate with battle. But then seeing this force brought before him, he has no choice but to respond with force as well. And it leads to these skirmishes and the Ammonites suffer a great defeat. And even the Assyrians suffer a great defeat as well. So much so to the point that they'll never uh, provide aid to the Ammonites ever again because they realize it's just going to get them in trouble if they fight against David and his armies. And it's just funny to see how in responding to their stink, as the Bible puts it, the wrong way, doubling down on it, so to speak, it only leads to more shame and defeat. And the same is for us as well. If you are, if you have a guilty conscience, if the Spirit is convicting you of something you've done wrong, you realize you stink before someone or before the Lord, don't double down on that. Treat it correctly. Clean it, all right? Uh, seek reconciliation with a person. Seek reconciliation with the Lord. Confess your sins. Do not double down on the stank. It's a pretty simple lesson, all right? When you realize you've done something wrong, correct it. Don't double down on it by doing even more wrong things. That's it for today's chapter, guys. I hope you have a great time uh, telling your accountability partner about this. Don't just leave it to them, though. You can tell your friends, your family, uh, 
just tell anybody you come in contact with about your great God and what you've been getting out of his word uh, each and every day. Hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy. God bless.